Big changes are coming to a place known for big discounts. Goodwill says it's taxing, taking actually extra precautions in light of three recent cases of flashlight bombs in the valley, one exploding last week at a Salvation Army location. ABC 15's Kimberly Chang is live at the 35th Avenue in Peoria location. And Kimberly, these changes are all about people's safety, aren't they? Connie, exactly, because a lot of people are on edge after finding these flashlight bombs and police really having no suspects. So here at the Goodwill store this morning, they're implementing new policy at Goodwill stores across central Arizona. Take a look at this box. These are flashlights that have been pulled off the shelves because they will no longer sell flashlights here for at least an, a certain amount of time. This is Courtney Nelson, spokesperson with Goodwill. Good morning. Good morning. And you're also asking people not to drop these off. Tell me what the new policy is? Temporarily, uh, the, the safety of our customers is first and foremost for us. So in light of recent events, we wanted to make sure we took extra precautionary measures to ensure our customers felt safe when they were shopping our stores and donating to us. So temporarily, we are asking that our donors do not donate flashlights to us right now. And we have also pulled them off our sales floor so customers can con continue to shop with ease. Now, for those of you who don't remember, just three days ago, there was a scare at a Goodwill store in Phoenix. Some employees found flashlights and they ended up calling the police that was a false scare but how are the employees doing now I mean are they pretty nervous because they're always sifting through donations every single day the, you know nerves are actually fine it was just another precautionary measure once we heard about the incident that did happen at another organization we wanted to make sure we took steps to be able to make our customers and our employees as safe as possible so we did ask if they saw anything to go ahead and work with local law enforcement to ensure that everything was safe at that store All right, Courtney thank you so much for for joining us this morning Thank and sharing you. that information. And Connie, you know, they've also sent out memos to the employees letting them know about this situation because these flashlight bombs were found at different locations in the valley. The last one at the Salvation Army actually went off and hurt some people. So they're telling employees just be extra careful when they're sorting through, the, through this stuff because they have to do it every single day. Yeah, hopefully they find the person responsible very soon. Kimberly, thanks for the latest there from the Goodwill store.